Ms. Alana here working on math, getting smarter and smarter every day, just like you. This is our math test prep tutorial video number 24, 24. All right, number and operations in base 10. Have your notebook with you. You need to be writing these down, okay? Put the numbers in order from least to greatest. So I have five times one tenth. And the next one is five and 523 thousandths. And the last one is 509 thousandths. Now to put these numbers in order, we need to do something first. What do you notice about the numbers? Okay, so they all have a five in it. They all have a zero in it. They all look different. They are um, numbers in different forms. So for example, this five times one tenth, uh, what way of writing numbers is that? That's expanded form, okay? Expanded form. What about this one? That's decimal form. And then what about this one? That's a fraction form. So in order to compare those to figure out what's the smallest, I need to make sure that they look the same. So I need to either make them all expanded form, make them all decimals, or make them all fractions, and then compare, okay? So what I did, let me show it to you, was, so I made a chart like that. I wrote decimal fraction expanded form. And then what I did was I took each of these and put them in the chart, okay? I'm trying to see how I can do this, okay. All right, ah, never, you know what, I'm just gonna show you the answer, okay. But don't, don't look at the answer yet. Oh, there, there, that's perfect. Okay, so look down here. So the first one says five times one tenth. So I know that's the expanded form. And the fraction for that is five tenths. And the decimal form of that is five tenths. Now, do you know why I added these zeros right here? Because the other numbers have three digits after the decimal, okay? The next one, 523 thousandths right there is, where is it? That's a decimal form. So then I wrote it as a fraction. And then I wrote an expanded form also, five times one tenth, two times one tenth, plus three times one thousand. And for the last one right here, 509 thousandths, that's in fraction form. So I put it here in fraction form. I wrote decimal way, and then I wrote the expanded form. Now, to compare... Well, I'm going to look at the decimal. I'd rather look at the decimal to compare. And then that's why I added the two zeros right there. So least to greatest, what's the smallest number? This 500 is the smallest, then the 509, and then the 523. So I wrote it right here. Now, I didn't write the decimal form. I write whatever they gave you up here. Okay, well, I hope you understand this one. It's not that difficult. It might look confusing, but it's actually pretty, pretty simple. So if you don't understand that, make sure you ask me, okay? All right, moving on to the next one. Love you.